And like I've said in other videos, one of my biggest frustrations is when businesses use a non-branded email account, kind of like at gmail.com or my business name at yahoo.com. It's just a security risk and it doesn't give a good brand name out for your business. So what I'm gonna do in this video is if you want to become a Microsoft 365 user with a custom branded domain, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. We're gonna walk through setting up your domain and creating a free trial in Microsoft 365. So we're gonna hop into that right now. Before we get started, I do want to remind you guys, we are consultants. So if you do have any issues with this setting up your email, go ahead and reach out to us at support at nexttechconsultants.com. And we'd be more than willing to help you set up your email. Also, we are resellers for Microsoft 365. So if you choose to go through us for your billing, it can be a little bit cheaper for you. And I do want to remind you guys that we also are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at nexttechnt. So if you want to hear about what we're up to and kind of what we're doing, go ahead and give us a follow there. Now, we're going to hop over to the computer and we're going to set up our free trial and get all of our entries into our DNS records. So let's hop over to our computer now and I'll show you that. All right, so the first things first, we're going to go to this link. It's linked down below in our description if you just want to get too straight to it. But it's where you set up your trial. There's three options. There's Microsoft 365 Business Basic, which is basically email and you're going to use their Outlook apps on the web. The business standard includes a downloadable version of Word, Excel, PowerPoint. This is the plan I would probably recommend. And then the business premium, it just adds, if you scroll down, some advanced security and device management, which could be really helpful, especially as you start growing and need to manage more devices. So go ahead and click this try free for one month. This email is what you want your future email to be. So I want it to be support at nexttechnt.com. You need to create a new account, so we're gonna click set up account. So here, we're gonna fill out all the information. I'm probably gonna skip this so you guys don't have to watch me do it, but once I'm done, we'll jump back in. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna choose a basically temporary domain that allows you to sign into the account. Um, this is gonna be like your business.onmicrosoft.com. You're not gonna use this as your primary email, but this is your initial setup account information. So what we're gonna do for us is we're gonna put next tech NT, make sure it's available. It is, so we're gonna click next. And this is gonna be setting up your first user. So I want it to be support at next tech, and then we're gonna do a password. All right, and once we've signed up, it is going to ask us for payment information. That's basically saying, hey, after your free trial, we're gonna automatically charge your account. So again, I'm gonna put in my payment information and I'll be right back. All right, now that you've put in your payment information, we can go ahead and click start trial. Remember, it will give you a date that if you don't cancel by, it will automatically charge your card. So if you don't plan on continuing to use the service, make sure you cancel. Um, but most likely, you're just gonna continue. So go ahead and click start trial. So now we're gonna go ahead and click get started and we're gonna move right into our account. So we're gonna log in with that um, dot on Microsoft account. So next tech nt dot on Microsoft.com. All right, it gives you the option to install Office if you want to with this license. I don't need to, so I'm gonna press continue. If you do want to, you just click this install button and it will install the Office suite onto your computer and you just log in with your new account. Now the important part is we do need to set up our domain. So let's put in the domain we want, nexttechnt.com. We're gonna use this domain and it's gonna say, hey, you since you bought your domain with GoDaddy, we can automatically set it up for you. If you bought your domain with GoDaddy, do that, it's much better. But for the sake of this video and demonstration, we're gonna click more options and we're gonna add a text record to confirm our domain. That's the first step you have to do. So we're gonna click continue. And this is what we want. So copy the text value, because you won't remember that. And then go over to, we're gonna do GoDaddy, but wherever you bought your domain and put that in. All right, so this is GoDaddy's DNS management. We're just gonna click add here. And like I said, we're putting in a text value. So we're gonna do text. Our host is gonna be at, and we're gonna paste in our text value right there. And we can leave TTL the same and click save. And then we can go back over to Microsoft 365 Admin and click Verify. This might take a little while. It might not work the first time. Just keep trying until it does. Just like mine, I have to click here, try again. I'll probably wait a few minutes and then try it again. All right, so now once your domain is verified, you can add your users. 
if you are migrating from a previous email, make sure you do this before you change your MX records. I'm not gonna add anyone because this is just a trial and I have all the users I need. So I'm gonna say do this later. And now we're gonna connect the domain. So we're gonna click more options and we're gonna add our own DNS records and click continue. So we're gonna scroll down. It has us put in an MX record, a C name record and a text record. So they'll open those up. What's nice about Microsoft is they do their own kind of load balancing on the back end. So there's only one MX record that you have to add. So go ahead and add it, click MX, paste it in. The host is at priority was zero and click save. Now we're gonna do the next record where it's a C name. So it's auto discover and auto discover at outlook.com. So we're gonna add C name auto discover and it's going to point to autodiscover.outlook.com click save finally we're going to do another text record this one's really important this helps you prevent spam that's what an spf record does it verifies that you can send email from this domain or from microsoft 365 inside of this domain i should say so paste that in save that go back and if you want, you can do advanced options like, hey, are you going to be using Intune or Skype? Uh, most likely not unless you bought the premium plan. If you did buy the premium plan, go ahead and check Intune and add in these last two records here. And we're going to go ahead and actually do that real quick. All right, as you can see here, I added both those C name records so I can go back to Microsoft 365 Admin Center and I can click continue. Just like the text record, this could be really quick, but it also could take some time. And in this case, it was really quick. So we're going to go ahead and click continue and setup is complete. Go ahead and click submit or we don't have to do that. Just go to admin center. And now you can see we have the one email. Since this was our first initial email, uh, you probably do want to click it and change the initial like login to just be support at nextsec.com. And then once you add that, you do want to change that to primary email address and save changes. At this point in time, your email will be flowing. It did log me out because I did change my username. So I'm going to have to log back in, but my email is flowing and it goes to my inbox. All right. And as you can see here, I do have email in my inbox and it is flowing if you were to send more information, but that's it for now. I do want to remind you guys that there are the two most common ways that your records go to spam when you're sending them to external organizations. And one of those is the SPF record, which is really nice that Microsoft has you set that up at the beginning. But the other one is DKIM authentication. And we have a video on how to do that with Microsoft, and it's going to be linked in the description below. So I really do appreciate you guys joining me today. And if you did like this video and it helped you set up your account so you can start sending emails in your custom branded domain, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to help me create more content like this to help support your business. I look forward to seeing you guys around and thank you so much for joining me.